But, th but that was the advantage. It gave me time to, to, to come to my own conclusion about what architecture should be. And that, and that was, there, Al and I could come up with great uh, philosophical backups for this, but the real reason that I am a classical architect today is because it's more beautiful. And it, that cuts right to the base of why we do what we do, because it's beautiful. And if anybody thinks modernism is beautiful, well, the, the toilets are there on your way out, and you can go across the street and have a drink. <laughs> uh, firmness, commodity, and delight, then it's tusk. Uh, these are all critical. They're, it's a, a triad. Uh, there's no one, that, I like to put the delight at the top, that's beauty. But um, they chase each other around like that. And it's, it's a, a, Steve Bass could get up here and get a couple hours of this triad <laughs> business. But uh, they're all, all necessary, each one is as important as, as the other. Somewhere in the middle of the 20th century, form follows function took over. And here's um, form following function. And if you think of this as a, you know, kind of a, a caboose here, and, and this is the, the engine, you know, in a traditional, Way for well, how come function leads? I mean, absolutely, this is the this is the important one in this dyad. Form tags along after function, and um, so there's definitely a, it's not a hierarchy when you only have two, but this this is the leader. This is the 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 function, and this is where you get the functionalist tradition, and the form. <coughs> you know, runs on behind, trying to keep up with however it was. Early on, this seemed to work because um, uh, industrial design was, um, made a lot of sense. Things were supposed to be shaped so that the hand could hold them conveniently. And packages were made so that you could open them conveniently. And, you know, there, there was a point once upon a time to this functionalist tradition. You don't see that nowadays. How many instruments do you have to open a typical package? You know, there's a, a knife, an axe, a <laughs> scissors, a, you know, forget it. So the ergonomic tradition has left, has departed. But what's missing in the modern tradition? Whatever happened to beauty? Whatever happened to, you know, delight? And this goes back to the thing that John started with, saying, it's entirely the beauty that, that drives us. I mean, the others are equally important uh, as, as far as, uh, you know, keeping the rain out and, and uh, you know, lasting more than 20 years. But uh, it's the delight that really um, races our engine and, uh, you know, always did. And as far back as you can go, philosophically, to Greece, um, what the heck, there's a relationship between truth and beauty, and 19th century, my gosh, beauty is truth, truth is beauty. That's all you need to know, that's all there is 